Hi everyone, this is Qualified.ie. It's an East job board site for accountants in Ireland. I've built it on Bubble and I've been running for just over a year now. What we're going to focus on today is improving our URLs so they're a bit cleaner to share, um, but they're also a bit better from an SEO perspective in helping indicate to Google what the page content is actually about. To start off, we're going to contrast two URLs, why one is good and why one is bad. And we're going to start off with a bad one, which is one of my own. If we click on this job here, we're brought to a jobs page and the data for that job is displayed on the page. But you'll see from the URL, there's a fairly random string of numbers, which is this job's unique ID that doesn't really tell us much about what's on the page. And this isn't great from an SEO perspective. We can contrast this with a well-designed URL on weworkremotely.com, which is a really cool remote jobs board. And you'll see there's much more relevant information in their URL. It has the name of the company, and then the job title. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and change our URLs to be much more like the WeWork Remotely URL you see there. And Bubble gives us a really easy way to do this. There used to be quite a convoluted workaround, but these days it's quite simple. All you need to do is go into your database, go into the job, and input a relevant value in this slug field here. Uh, we're going to keep it really simple and just say the name of the position the location, and then we're also going to give it five random digits. Why are we giving the five random digits? Well, this is quite a nice job board. There is likely going to be some jobs that overlap, so you might have financial account in Dublin posted multiple times, and the unique digits at the end help identify each job, but we still manage to see quite a bit of information in the URL. So we're going to save this, and if we go back to that job on the qualified homepage, you should see that the URL will contain a lot more relevant information this time around. And that's true, you'll see an now says Commercial Analyst Dublin and that five random digits. So this is all well and good, but it's obviously not practical for us to manually input a unique slug every single time a new job is posted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a workflow I built to automate this process. Uh, so if we just go into our development version of the Bubble Editor, This is key to really making it uh, pain-free in terms of keeping those URLs updated. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to workflow. And the key one is just to give you an idea of what this page is. So this is uh, the final page in the process I use to actually post jobs. So you click on confirm when you're happy with all the settings. You might get charged money depending on what class of job you are purchasing. I'm going to delete for now and just do it again. Uh, so it's there, and uh, we're going to go data, make changes to thing. Actually, we're not. My mistake. We're going to go data, and I'll just make this a bit clearer, and delete this. We're going to say data, element actions, data, set a thing slug. So the thing is the job, and we've created that job in step three as you can see there. And we want this slow to be, like I said, the job title, followed by the job's location, followed by a five uh, digit number. So what we're gonna do is we are going to say, uh, remember step three is when the job is actually created. So step three, we are gonna say the job's position, which is its title effectively. And then this is important. We're also gonna put in more, and we're gonna look for find and replace. Now, the reason we're doing this is you'll find that a lot of jobs will be two-word titles, so you might have financial accountant. If you leave space in the slug, then you're going to get some pretty weird things in your URL. You're going to get a percentage and a 20, which is the default replacement for spaces. So, so to avoid that, what we're simply going to do is we're going to click on text find, we're going to click space, and we're going to place this with a dash. Close that. We're then going to put in another dash. Uh, we're going to put in the location of the job, which is its city. We're again going to put in find and replace. City are usually a one word, cities are usually a one word field, but you can get things like Greater Dublin Area or something like that, in which case we're going to want those dashes in there again rather than the spaces. And I'm going to do that. And then finally, we're going to put in that random five digit number at the end just to be a unique identifier for each job. So. I'm going to go down here and we're going to go to 
calculate formula. We're going to go to generate random string. We want it to be five characters long. We don't want it to be the result of step five. We want it five characters long. And we want to use numbers. And really as simple as that. So we're going to deploy this change. And then I'm just going to take you through the workflow so you can see how that's generated in real time. First of all, we'll refresh our app. And then we're going to go to the post job page. And we're going to start putting in information from this little word pad here that I've just put together. This is a job I thought might be a good fit for the site. So we're just going to manually put this in. Just going to paste this information in here. Not going to go that. And finally, on to salary and benefits. We're going to pick the free option because we don't want to pay money from ourselves to ourselves. The way I've built this workflow is up you're going to get a preview of the job and how it looks before it actually gets posted. So you can just make sure everything looks okay. That all looks fine to me. Continue to step three. Notice we haven't put any value in for the slug so far. Um, again, this is going to be done automatically at this step here. Read for the terms and policy. Zero euro became so under a free option. And this job is going to be posted. So we should see this show up uh, in our homepage now. If we go into the latest qualified account and jobs, loading. And this is the one we just posted. And hopefully when we click on it now, we're going to get a nice clean URL. And sure enough, you can see it, the job title, the location, and that five-digit number at the end. So hopefully this has been helpful. I'm going to post a few more videos on what I'm doing in terms of SEO from my bubble app that might be helpful. So if you are interested in that, please do subscribe.